<laughs> What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, we are in a absolute hurry. We got Taylor, Adam's just coming out of the house. Number two called him running in an emergency. That's just how our life is going right now. We just finished my last video, which if you follow along, you already saw it. We were at uh, Fujiyama's and Stewart cooking some snapper. We didn't cook them. Actually, nobody cooked them. We ate it raw. It was a tile fish and a beeliner video. We just finished that and now we're hauling butt. Look, we have a celebrity guest back there named <laughs> Moose or Goose. Goose or Moose? Goose. Goose. I call him Moose because he's big as a moose. And look, there's a little bitty redneck. We are hauling butt right now to, oh man, Adam's calling me. I know I forgot something. We're trying to get to hunting camp because I have a big hog that's been coming to a camera every single day in the daylight. Yep, it's definitely Adam. Oh man, what a way to start a video. Taylor's from Colorado. She lives down in the Key West and she's never killed a hog and that's what we're trying to go do. But it's Christmas Eve. Huh? Yeah, just push the button and lock the door. Push Brinks. Yep. Thank you, bye. She's never killed a hog before and that's what we're going to do. We have a big sow. Hopefully a big sow and a big bar, but I know for a fact we have a big sow that's daylighting. And we also have the thermals that we're gonna try to shoot some hogs with tonight. But it's supposed to be 20 degrees. And I thought about it about 10 minutes ago because she's used to the cold. I don't even know if our camper's gonna have running water because it'll probably freeze. We don't even have enough time right now to stop and get groceries. So we're gonna haul butt to the place, to the ranch. It's two and a half hours. We're gonna hunt. As soon as we hunt, bring the hog back if we get one, and then we're gonna go to the grocery store. You excited? Super excited. You gonna miss? I don't miss. She don't miss, she said. Oh, shit. Well, they missed, that was the question. Look at them two, that's like dumb and dumber back there. <laughs> Her, He's a lab, right? Yeah. Mixed with like pony or Shetland pony or something. He's actually one of the coolest dogs ever. I do not like labs. I don't like big dogs. I like little Jack Russells and hog dogs, but her dog, for some reason, he's a pretty special dude. And we're gonna show you some of his cool tricks when we get there. <laughs> Look at Miss Colorado. <laughs> it is freezing here and supposed to get 22 degrees tonight. We're gonna look like Eskimos sitting there, but we don't have much time. It's four o'clock. The feeder goes off at 4 30 and we are rushing Yeah, these are definitely going on You don't have much pain. You're gonna have to get in those when we sit in the blind and on the way back. Right. Oh I probably should put my bigger boots on Let me see. I think she's going to shoot the Creedmoor tonight. No, I'm gonna get my other rifle. I think I'm gonna let her shoot the 25. Now, because we're running late, the hogs might be there when we get there. So we might not even have to go all the way to the blind. And we're gonna slip in real quietly. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna try to shoot a buck. But tonight, after we get done doing this, we're going thermal hunting. So y'all are gonna get a lot out of one video. A lot of people from up north think 20 degrees isn't that cold. Until you've experienced 20 degrees in South Florida, you can't even comment. It's a whole different ball game when it comes to humidity. 20 degrees here is like the Arctic Circle. The place that we're on is 3,500 acres. If we're riding along and we see a buck or a hog, we can legally stop and shoot it. So if that happens, y'all just know it's legal.
we got like a 300 yard walk so we gotta be real quiet So we just got set up, got settled in. She's getting the, used to the gun. It's just a waiting game now. Fingers crossed they come. They've been here every night for the last three nights. Right, whenever you get on the big one on the left. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. He's toast. <laughs> she just got her first dog. Can we talk about you not telling me the hogs were coming? I heard her take her safety off. I'm like, hold up, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing taking the safety off? You weren't playing no games. You saw them as soon as they walked in. Did you just see the hoot owl land above him? Yeah. Put another bullet in it, because when we get out, if the other ones are there, you're going to shoot one of them. Right there. You're gonna have to let me piggyback you across this water. That didn't take very long, did it? <laughs> Not too long. For some reason, these hogs showed up tonight at 3.30 in the afternoon before we even got here. The feeder didn't go off when I thought it was going to go off. So I was sitting on my phone looking at Onyx trying to figure out where we're going to hunt tomorrow morning and I hear her click. <laughs> she just killed the best eating hog you can kill. About a 180 pound to 200 pound fat sow. I'm going to haul butt, leave her here, go get the side by side. And we're gonna get this thing back to camp. It is freezing. The man, the myth, the legend, y'all right here. But he has a new better half now, you guys. Lowell Roberts, all you women that I told you about in previous videos are screwed now. <laughs> Cause she's crazier than a spray roach just like him. Reagan Lightsey. <laughs> nice to meet y'all. <laughs> Look at Redneck. You guys, we just went to the store. Taylor and I left. We literally finished the last video, haul butt to the house, threw some clothes in the truck and air it out. She killed the hog right before dark, like you already know. We're cooking broccoli, we're getting ready to eat a good meal, and then we're going thermal hunting. You guys don't ever see me cook steak very often, though. 
If I eat Everglades, I want it on a steak. That's when, to me, it's the best. Does that look good, Lowell, or what? Oh, yeah. Let's throw it on a grill. This is my favorite grill, and I got it at Home Depot for like 200 bucks. These are like man-sized steaks, too. We got some broccoli over here, and cooking in coconut oil with mushrooms. We're gonna have to show them our redneck ingenuity with the, uh, with oh, the uh, windshield. Yeah, I think we should do that right now. What do you think? Let's do you it. guys, we don't have a windshield on my side by side. We have. <laughs> we're making do tonight because it's going to be Arctic cold while we're riding around. But what's cool about that is I've not got to use the thermal yet when it's really cold, and they work best when it's cold. Because here in Florida, we have such bad humidity, and that actually jacks the thermals up a little bit. So tonight, it's going to be great. Can we talk about, real quick, you not telling me that the hog was coming out? I was focused. <laughs> we got to do it really tight and really smooth, though, so we can see through it. Go ahead and pull it some your way. God, this food smells good. What you got cooking, Gabe? Woo -hoo! Oh, oh, yeah. Got to hit the broccoli with some Lowry's. That right there is the bomb. Biggity. Now that I've got the steak seared off really well, I'm going to put that one on just for a second because I actually just flipped it. I like your tone. Well, I was, I was sort of playing panic mode because when I come over here, everything was on fire, but it's actually perfect. Now I'm going to turn the heat down and let them just cook. Y'all got that thing figured out over there? But will the thermal see through it? I don't think so. You guys, I'm a master of a lot of things, but cooking steaks not one. But I think these bad boys right here are looking good. Look at that. Look at that. I know I can cook some broccoli, but that I will say. You know it's cold in Florida when you can grab the handle of a pan you've been cooking on all night. Mm, mm, mm. I normally would let them rest. Where's your knife at? Oh, you got a pocket knife? They're right there, old son. When was the last time you cut a boar hog's nuts off with this? Uh, about two nights ago. Did you clean it since then? Maybe, maybe not. When you grow up in the south and somebody you're hog hunting with hands you your pocket knife and you go to make like a peanut butter and jelly, you better go, because that happens a lot. If you don't know what I'm talking about, when we catch a male hog with dogs, you take his old gonads and you cut him off and turn him loose and he'll become a bar. Then when you catch him, the next time he's good to eat. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. That's good. You guys ready to eat or what? Yes, sir. Tell me what you think. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, it's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Lowell, have you sharpened this knife at all lately? Uh, I couldn't tell you last time I did, to be honest with you. Oh, you dropped it. Wow. How clean is this table? Clean, clean enough. enough. God, wait, see? People that were born and raised in the South, we have the same comments. <laughs> you would say it's good no matter what, just because you're loyal like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not picky, so I I could eat a cricket and be fine. Good? <laughs> to be honest with you. You guys, look at that, though. You are picky when it comes to a steak, though. Yeah. You are? And you said mine was that, good? Yeah, I could have done a little better, but... Well, why didn't you, why did you have me cooking then? Uh, well, you started off with it. So. What if we catch an armadillo tomorrow? We'll cook it for lunch. Tonight. What if we Let's catch an armadillo tonight? Let's do it, old son. Redneck will help. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, folks, we'll see you all out there. I've got binoculars that I can film with, a scope. He's got, does your scope record? I don't, I don't know. Well, mine does. So we y'all are going to see some killing about to go down. Dusted him. Wait. You need a ride? Yes. Not a walking. Look at 
at you, Taylor. You're two for two. Here, I'll turn that off real quick. Look at that big old hog. He got cutters? Oh my God, a trophy boar. Heck yeah. Look at that. Trophy. What'd you say? You didn't want to shoot another one unless it was a big one? Yeah. That's a good one right there. He's going hard. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shoot him. Got him. Good shot. Dang, that was a hard target. Another nice one. That's a good eater. Son. Oh, there he is. He looked like he reared back. Still see. Shit behind that. Yeah. Got it. Hurry up. The cows are going to screw you. Shoot. <sighs> I don't know if she missed him or hit him and he's dying or what. He's fixing to run into him though. This should be interesting.
Who's ready for a fire? I know I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. We've got Taylor never hunted in her life and she's done killed the whole family of hogs. That last bit though, tell me that wasn't some of the coolest thermal footage ever. So we're gonna clean. We actually have four hogs to clean. I'm gonna show you how to clean one entire hog in a different video. I'm gonna make a YouTube video. I'm not gonna monetize it. I'll put it in the link in the description below this video. Look over my shoulder. Yep, we got a bunch of hogs. I'm gonna make a video of Taylor and I cleaning it. She's never cleaned one. I'm gonna show you the entire process. I'm gonna download it on YouTube and I'm gonna put it in the link in the description below this video. It won't pop up in your news feeds because it's not gonna be monetized. If you wanna see it, go to the link in the description below this video and you'll find it. It will be the entire process. But in this video, I'm gonna show you the guns that we used last night. All right, so this is my Browning A-Bolt 25 WSSM. I've had it forever. It's my favorite gun in the whole world. This is Jake's 6.5 Grendel. I've only had it for like a year. We have my Pulsar, which is the thermal that you watched last night. Let me show you the difference in bullets. That's the bullets compared side to side. This is the one that Taylor shot the hog with during the day. This is the one she shot with at night. The one on the left is rank. It's definitely nasty. Did you ever think you'd have a gift of going hog hunting for Christmas? No, I didn't. <laughs> nope, it was awesome. Have you ever had wild hog? No, not wild hog. There you go. We'll see y'all back at my house. Are you taking over Blue Gabe's kitchen or what? You better believe it. Look at that, folks. You guys, we're not at my house. Where's Francis right there? This is my cousin Ross right here and his beautiful wife, Francis. We got Taylor over the shoulder. We were gonna go to the Keys. Oh, she aired out. She had to go check something with the dog. You guys, the weather kept us from going to the Keys. I checked the weather in Venice, Louisiana and it's good. So we took off driving straight up here. My cousin Ross and his wife, Francis live exactly halfway between my house and Venice, Louisiana. So we always stop here on our way there, get a good meal. We always get some kind of a good dessert. Good. That's my favorite. You didn't tell me you were making that. I Look, wasn't going to did you see this yet? No. Looks <laughs> oh good. my goodness. And Ross is over here finishing up frying the hog meat. So hopefully you went and watched the how to clean a hog video. And if you did, you watched me cut out the back strap. This is it. Right when I got here about 30 minutes ago, I put it up on the counter. I cut it up in little slices, put it in a bowl, added some seasonings, added some flour, and all we did was plain fry it. Taylor's never had it, so I wanted to cook it as plain as I could. And here's the finished product. Check that out. But can you smell it? I know. We need to get him a drink. Do you want tea or water? Sweet tea, please. Sweet tea. I was really wondering why you weren't cooking very much. I know, I only brought one back strap with me. Here, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me let me just be the first one to give you your bite of wild hog. <laughs> I give her such a big piece, she couldn't even do it. It is good. She was worried it was going to taste gamey. It doesn't taste gamey, does it? No. All right, folks, that's it. I haven't seen my family in a while. I want to sit down and have a nice meal. Tomorrow morning we're gonna wake up and we're gonna to go to the most amazing seafood market on the planet. We're gonna buy all kinds of crazy stuff, take it with us to Venice, Louisiana, because when we get there tomorrow, the next morning there's a huge front coming through. So we're gonna cook all day, have a blast, catch some crabs. You guys were riding along the whole way, but this video is over. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Leave a comment, give her a huge shout out for her making some amazing shots. She was actually mad at the beginning of the video where I make it look like she missed a bunch. She's like, you a-hole. I said, listen, that's just a teaser. All right, you guys, that's it. See you in the next one.